and thanks for joining me. Well, today we're going to build a slowdown for this bandsaw that we completed last week. Uh, i got to clean up the motor, but first I'm going to start building the slowdown and then we'll get to the motor. Uh, as you saw in the previous video clip, uh, I've started on the parts. Let me show you what i got so far. Here's what most of our slowdown consists of flat belt pulleys and it takes a lot of slowdown that was a real pain in the neck to saw on my 4x6 bandsaw but I got through it and then faced the edges of it so it's fairly parallel the first thing we got to do is weld that in there and this in there and then I will chuck it in the lathe and true up our spokes and weld it to the wheels. Then we'll turn the outside of the wheels. I'm getting kind of excited about it. I think it'll work out good. It doesn't look too bad. Well, I was aiming for slightly tighter, but that's, I'll take it. That's pretty good. I got this running true this way. I'm going to clamp it to the spoke, tack it, and then check it again. Wow, that's, that's fairly straight. I've got it tacked, tacked on two spokes. I'm going to clamp it on the two of the ones that are not welded. I'm going to clamp. Well, it's tacked on all four spokes. Probably is what it is, but I'm going to check it on the lathe again. It's a little off. That's not too bad. My biggest concern was this way. I can true up the edges no problem. Looks pretty good this way. Well, I think it's going to work pretty good. We'll find out.
Uh, that'll be good. Okay, let's make this round. Okay, I haven't got enough to, to grab right here and keep it accurately centered, so I'm going to mount it to a short shaft so that I can chuck it in the chuck and, and keep it concentric. If you don't know what I mean, it'll be clear in a minute. drilled and tapped these but then I welded that hub in seems to have messed up the threads pretty good oh yeah I like it Okay, I've got my compound set at about 2 degrees past 90 and I set the zero point on my dial at that corner right there. So when I flip it over I'll put the zero point on, my, on the other side and, and I'm going to cut a crown that's basically an inverted V. I'm just going four or five thousand at a time until I see that quit cutting right there in the center. Okay. I'm going to flip it over.
Okay, we got the two driven pulleys made. Now we got to make the drive pulleys. We're going to make the drive pulleys uh, out of this inch and a quarter stock. First thing we're going to do is drill a uh, hole through it, mount it to a shaft, and then cut the crowns on it. That way everything stays concentric. One thing about drive belts, uh, or flat belt drives, surface area has a lot of effect on how well they drive. And I'm a little bit concerned about this being too small to have enough surface area without slipping. V-belts grab a lot better. Uh, the big advantage to a flat belt drive is they're versatile. You can make pulleys fairly easily. They're very flexible. They're quiet. They require very little power. V-belts uh, consume a lot of power. Anyway, we've got to drill these out and mount them to a mandrel and then cut the crowns on them. And hopefully, hopefully they'll work. Otherwise, we're wasting a lot of time here. Actually, the first thing I need to do is put a set screw in there to mount it to the shaft and then I'll do the rest. Stuff may be hardened. Yeah, well, let's start over with some mild steel. Probably should have done this in the collet chuck. It'll work fine, but the collet chuck would have been better. Yeah, let's look at where I'm going here. I'm not very good at math and it took me a while to do this, but it's really fairly straightforward. This will be the motor pulley, and the motor will drive this pulley. This pulley will drive this small pulley, same shaft, and then drive this pulley. So you've got two different ratios going right there. And this is 6.5 over 1.25, gives you a ratio of uh, 5.2. Divide 5.2 by 1750 and you get 336 RPM. This pulley here equals a 3.8 divided by 336 and you get 88 RPM. Uh, this pulley here is going to drive the bandsaw and the pulley on the bandsaw wheel is 5 inch so this is 2 to 5 or 2.5 and uh, 2.5 divided by 88 gives you 35 RPM. Well I need 100 surface feet per minute and if you do the math on 100 uh, service feet per minute is 33 RPM. Well, I'm 35, which ends up being 110 RPM. Which might not be technically as slow as it's supposed to be, but really, really close. Anyway, that's, that's the math. Okay, I'm going to remake this motor mount here. I'm going to make it a little longer, and I'm going to put these brackets right here and right here. And it's going to have two half-inch shafts going through it. This will be mounted to the motor. 
and this will be mounted right here. I might make it further out, like about right there. And the shaft on this pulley will come out on this side and be right there. And it'll drive this pulley here. And on the end of this pulley will be the two inch. I don't know if that made any sense or not, but it'll it'll make sense as it takes as it takes form. I welded that in there backwards. That tab was supposed to be right there. It was going to be that. Well, I was going to weld that right there, but I'm afraid when I weld it, it's going to move around like that. So, I think just to keep everything aligned perfectly, I'm going to cut off a piece of angle iron and machine the edges here so it's square, and then bolt that together so it's a separate unit and I can move it adjust it this way if I have to. I don't think I'll have to, but at least it gives me that option. Okay, I'm just squaring up this channel that'll hold the uprights on the back.
Yeah, that'll go right there. That'll go right there. Flat belt drive there. That'll go on the motor pulley. Only thing I'm a little worried about is the shaft length. But I think it'll be all right. In hindsight, I probably should have made these wider. Because it's going to be hanging off the end quite a bit. We'll give it a try, see if it'll work. I sure hope it does. I've got some flanged bearings ordered. They're not here though. So I'm going to try these. And I may go back and replace them with the flange bearings. I think the flange bearings are a little bit stronger. These will probably work fine though. That's a good sign. Everything lines up good. Quite a bit of flexing there, but all the pressure will be this way. So I think it'll work. I hope. Shaft's kind of tight. We have a bushing out of line. Hopefully it's not the holes out of line. I think that'll loosen up just fine. Looks pretty heavy. A lot of cast iron. Okay, here's the idea. There's the woodworking speed, and here's the metalworking speed. Now, how much shorter? I'm going to say 3 16 That's really hard to determine. So we'll add 3 quarter to that. That's the length of the skive. The skive is a, the ground spot for the joint. This is one inch belt. Uh, the pulleys are capable of inch and a quarter. I just happen to have some one inch belt cut. I may end up going with inch and a quarter just to get enough traction. Okay, let's make note of this belt size in case it's the right size.
Wait 15, 20 minutes and we'll give it a try. Well, I think that wraps it up for today. Next week I'll paint it all and design a stand. Let me uh, show you the stand I got planned. Little Art Deco there. <laughs> Just having fun. Hey, thanks for joining me. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell. Well, it looks too slow. That is really slow. <laughs>